Coach, I think we're ready to get going. Why don't you kind of just uh, recap this past week, and then we'll take a couple questions. Obviously, going in, uh, thought it would be a low scoring, play close to the best, uh, try to manage a game, obviously, with a, with a young quarterback out there who has not had a ton of, ton of reps. Um, first half, we didn't do a good job of limiting the big plays. Obviously, we knew going in Akron, very explosive, 504 yards a game, and a lot of their offense came via explosive plays. Uh, and that's kind of, they attack you, and they do a good job attacking down the field. Obviously, misfit and gave up a huge run right off the bat after we went on a really nice drive and took about seven minutes off the clock and put together a nice drive. Um, and then get a couple balls thrown down the field on us, do a poor job of third down, five or seven. I think they were in the first half on third down. So. We're staring at a 21-3 deficit and really felt like our defense hadn't played close to what they're capable of playing. Put a nice drive again together. Uh, missed opportunity in the red zone to score a touchdown. So it's 21-6. to uh, Could easily have been 21-14 at half, even with our defense not playing close to their best. Defense really kind of regrouped at halftime. They knew they had some self-inflicted, on, uh, particularly on a couple of the passes that they knew they were out of position and, and should, have, should have been in position to make plays. Uh, they played tremendously in the second half, uh, was getting stop, 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 stop in controlling. Obviously, they didn't give up hardly any yards at all in the second half. Gave up 299 only for the game against a team averaging 504. So on paper, you feel pretty good about holding them way below their average. But don't feel good because we felt like we could hold them down a whole lot more. I know our kids and our coaches feel that way. Um, offensively put together a nice drive, score a touchdown, went for it on fourth down, feeling like we're not going to get down there that often to try to try to go for three there. Got it to 21-13. Defense continued to get a stops position. Again, management of the game up to that point. Noah had really done a nice job of managing the game. And then we got a third and eight, and the ball should be going either to Smitty or to Rowe on the left side. And he's looking right at Murph, and that's the start of the problem. And then he ends up fumbling the football right to a guy on the other team. and. Next thing you know, we're on a short field. We're down 27 to 13. Next possession was key because we're getting the ball obviously right back. We have a nice, nice thing designed for Murph. A little double move for Murph, and we get him wide open, and we miss, we miss him, which could have easily put it right back to 28 20. We'd have been disappointed in the turnover, but we kind of got it right back where we were. We were running the ball really effectively uh, the whole day, but particularly we were wearing him down third quarter on our touchdown drive. We we were pushing him off the ball pretty good. So we really felt like just keep staying the course. Then another pick and we're down 35-13 and now you can't run the ball, you can't do the things you want to do. So uh, felt really good about how we played defense in the second half. Uh, didn't feel like we played close to our best in the first half. Uh, offensively felt good for about almost three quarters to about the four minute mark in the third. We were doing what we needed to do to win a game and we were right in a football game against a, a very good team on the road. And then obviously again, as we sound like a broken record, the turnovers put us in a position not to win the game. So very disappointing because it, it was it was definitely a game there at 21-13. And we had momentum, and we were moving the ball, and we were getting stops. And then we don't allow our offense and defense to, to continue to play and try to win a game because we give them two, two really short fields. So uh, obviously got to clean that up. Penalties were much better on offense. We still had issues, penalties on defense, uh, particularly some third down. We jump offside a couple times on third down. It was third and seven. Now it's third and two or third and six and third and one. Then we have them sacked on third and forever, and we get a face mask penalty and extends a drive again. So uh, got to work hard. Penalties were down, but they got to be they got to be down on both sides of the ball uh, to give us a chance. So moving forward, Kent State's been one of the better defense in the league the last few years. Uh, they've done a very good job defensively. Uh, they've always played it close to best on offense and stayed in games and let their defense win games. Um, because of their quarterback situation, they moved the running back to quarterback, and they've been much better since that's happened. It's, it's created a, a different dynamic for them. They're running their quarterback 25 times a game, which um, is, is very difficult to defend. And they've, they've moved the ball and scored points the last two weeks. And they're throwing the ball similar passing, and they didn't really change their passing game. They, didn't, they weren't. Uh, 
they were a run oriented team already to start off with and they they take some shots down the field and they do some play action stuff and they're doing the kind of same stuff and he's been just as, as efficient as any of the other quarterbacks the last couple of years so i don't think it's hurt their passing game really at all and it's certainly improved their running game so we're going to have to do a great job to make sure you have enough hats down there to defend the run because they've done a very good job of getting him. Obviously, he had a huge game last week and had to hit a lot of yards against Akron two, two weeks ago. Uh, and then they like the reverses and they like their play action inside verticals and they like to throw the ball down the field. So we've got to do a good job uh, of making them drive the football, limited the big plays. And then offensively, uh, you know, we gotta, we're going to have to play it similar to last week. We're going to have to try to run the football against a team that's very difficult to run. And we're going to have to try to use our possession passing game uh, and, and, and not turn the ball over and manage the game and, and play it a little more close to the best. And obviously, we'd like to, but we, we can't turn the ball over and put our defense. We've got to rely on our defense. Our defense is going to have to play a very good football game. We're going to have to rely on them to, to keep us close and hopefully play, play from a lead and then don't make poor decisions on offense and, and, and grind it out a little bit and, and play the field position game to, to come away with the victory. Yeah, uh, you're talking about Kent State. You know, Nick Holly of Kent State, and I'm not sure if you noticed, he uh, had a monster game, 224 yards, four touchdowns against Buffalo. I mean, what's the strategy to preventing him from not having that same type of game against the Red Hawks? Well, d just definitely – obviously being physical and aggressive up front and then definitely they they even up the numbers in the box because he's playing quarterback now and they're running him over and over and over so they're using the back either as a fake guy to use up a defender or they're using the back as a lead hat to use up a defender so normally on defense you like to have one more hat in the box than they have when they run their quarterback and use their back as a blocker that evens up the numbers so we're going to have to do a very good job structurally to have enough hats down in there, uh, but but still be sound in the pass game where you're not holding holding your DBs out to dry the whole game in one-on-one -on -one matchups. But it's definitely anybody's going to run their quarterback 25 times in a game. It's going to cause it's going to cause structural issues for you because everybody'd like to run them 25 times a game. Can you do that over the course of 12 games? Usually that doesn't that doesn't last, but can you do it over the course of a, a smaller period of time? You, you can maybe get away with that. So they're going to run him a bunch. He's their best football player. They've added a couple other skill guys on offense that are fast and, and can make big plays and have make, made big plays. So we know what's coming. They're going to run him a bunch, obviously, based on the last two weeks, and it's been very effective. They move the ball much better, and they've scored a lot more points than they have. Is there a Billy Ball update? Uh, yeah, I'd, I would say... Again, probably available this week. We'll see how the week progresses um, and see how he the, the rehab. But he's he's I would say it's he could be ready to go, but he could also need another week. Yeah, uh, Noah, you know, first career start. He had three turnovers, I believe. How's his progress? Uh, good. He, I mean, his his progress is good. He's getting better every day. Obviously, all the practice reps he's getting and all the stuff he's getting thrown at him. Uh, so he's he's progressing, and like I said, the, the key was those three turnovers because he was he was having a very solid game. We weren't expecting him to win the game for us. We we're expecting him to make the throws that we know he can make and, and make the decisions that we know he can make. And like I said, for almost three quarters, he was doing exactly what we would hoped he would do. We know he's smart. We know he's calm. We know he's confident. And then he made a few mistakes, uh, you know, at the end of the third quarter on back-to-back -back possessions and. You know, we were not in a position, you know, with, with where we're at with our skill guys and where we're at with him that we're going to be that explosive on offense right now. So we, we, have to, we have to play the same game this weekend but make a three less mistakes and we'll probably be in good shape. Yeah, you mentioned in your uh, post-game press conference that, you know, the uh, inability to convert those red zone opportunities into touchdowns kind of seemed to really change the tide of the game. How do you guys plan on going about that this time? Uh, same way. We just got, we got to get the ball where it's supposed to go. We had, the first time we had Murph pretty open, second time we had Rokeem pretty open, and we didn't, we didn't you know, we didn't get, get the ball where we wanted to get it in those situations. And again, part of it is you got a young guy back there, there's a lot coming, they're blitzing, and we got some one-on-one -on -one matchups. And, uh, the third time we got the ball where we wanted it and, and, and got the ball in the end zone. So um, it just 
seeing things and making decisions and, and giving us the best chance. So same thing. The nice thing, we didn't turn it over. We got two field goals and a touchdown. We certainly would have liked three touchdowns, but it would have been 21 all if it's three touchdowns. Uh, but even at 21-13, we're right in the game. So uh, we got to 21-13, we had all the momentum. Our defense was playing, and they, we were stopping the run. We were stopping the pass. Our offense had just moved the ball very good on the ground, mixed in some passes, hit a key fourth down pass, and then we basically shot ourselves a foot and gave them 14 straight points. So uh, we can't do that. We're like we say every week, we're not good enough at this point to make those mistakes. We've got to continue to limit the penalties, and we have to limit the turns. We're going to win this Saturday. We've got to win the turnover battle. So defense got to help us. Defense is playing better and better. They're playing more aggressive. We used to go many games and not get our hands on the ball. Now we're getting turnovers. In some games, we're getting multiple turnovers. And then Saturday, we didn't get the turnovers, but boy, we could have. Like we, we deflected three passes at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Gearing deflects three short passes. Uh, experience in football tells you, you you bat enough passes down, one's going to go right to somebody on your team. We got three passes deflected. None of them went to anybody on our team. We keep batting balls down. Those are three opportunities for turnovers. And then we had our hands on at least five passes down the field, and some of them went right through our hands. So. Great that we're in position. We're being aggressive. We're making breaks on the ball. We're looking back and playing the ball in man coverage. And it's it, we have gotten turnovers the last few weeks. But Saturday, we just didn't cash in on our opportunities, even though they were good football plays. We could easily had five interceptions. If we just get two or three of those, maybe not five, it's game-changing play. So we got to keep putting ourselves in position with a damn way. we got to finish some of those plays, particularly right now with being shorthanded on offense. Uh, not only at quarterback, but shorthanded skill guys, too. We're very limited in the bodies we have at skill position right now. So we have to play the field position game. And those turnovers obviously can, can flip the field. Or if you pick one off and run in with one, it changes the complexion of the game, as, as you see every Saturday. Good. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.